Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, here we are entering into this beautiful season, the season of knowing that autumn is upon us, right? <laughs> so, I hope that you are doing absolutely amazing. And before we go any further, I want you to know that this month is the month for cancer. It's, um, it's known for cancer and healing through cancer or cancer prevention. So for that, if you were to realize that anything that you do in your life to stop and heal yourself, it's preventing all diseases, right? So welcome to Heal Within, where transformation begins. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa, and by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and have a beautiful, cozy cottage healing center in the heart of Glendale in the Los Angeles area. Hello, hello, hello. So, why is it that we wanna talk about cancer, healing, prevention, because um, October is known for cancer prevention and did you know that hypnotherapy can help with the emotional connection to cancer or the meditative uh, part of it that if you are diagnosed if you're going through anxiety the worry and everything hypnosis is one of the main ways that you can tap into your subconscious mind and have a, this beautiful direct dialogue from mind to your body. Hmm? So, yes, I have worked with cancer patients for many, many years. Even when I used to do massage, yeah, for 14 years, I did massage therapy and working with um, the body and doing lymphatic massage after the treatments and radiation and before the surgeries. So why am I bringing this up? Because what we do through hypnosis is the main thing that I have been working in the last few years is with folks and clients who come to me with panic and anxiety and worry negative thoughts, negative emotions, this fear factor. So if you want to have a time to relax and unwind in the comfort of your home, by all means, just text RELAX to 818-221-2797. Again, 818-221-2797. Just the word RELAX. And I'll be more than happy to gift you an audio recording, a hypnosis audio recording of how to relax and unwind in the comfort of your home. Now, when I used to work with clients who came in and I uh, not only by, hi Siddha John, how are you? Not only when I was doing the massage therapy, but working with cancer patients. I even created a DVD. And uh, this DVD was not only uh, visual, uh, but also hypnotic suggestions, and it was affirmations, everything. This DVD is so powerful, and it is for those who are going through it, plus, the people who are with them, the caregivers, family members, and it helps you relax. It also helps the caregivers to have a better state of the emotionally feeling stable as they are taking care of the client or the patient. So someone said, how is it that hypnosis can help with that? 
How is it that hypnosis helps with anxiety? Because we tap into the emotional connection to the behavior or to the patterns of what fear is. You see, any time that there is a behavior, any time that there is, if you were afraid of something, is it really what you are afraid of? Or is it your emotional connection to what you believe you are afraid of? See, that's exactly what I work with. When we talk about it, we need to understand that as today, slowly people are beginning to understand for a physical health, doctors are not always the solution because how you eat, how you stand, how you sit, how you feel, everything from the inside is your solution. What you do with yourself on daily basis, how you take care of you is the solution. So allow me to say, what if, what if you start taking care of your mental health and realize that when you are physically and mentally mentally especially when you're mentally strong you can direct your emotions and when your physical body is also strong then everything works together in harmony and what will you do with yourself on daily basis the mental health what you're doing is the solution so doctors therapists everyone we are just guides and what you're doing with yourself daily is the source it can also be the source of problem in a way every single day an activity if you had some sort of a process the way you manage your thoughts and if you write it express it release it in a way that that becomes the activities and your activities become your source of solution instead of creating a friction because in the stages in the first stages of our mental mental health it is just a question of what is breaking down what is a disconnect and when there is something that it's a disconnect, when something has broken down, how, how is it that we are going to fix it? Hypnosis is an internal process. And someone said, did you know that Kate Middleton used hypnosis for hypnobirthing? Yes. Matt Damon utilized hypnosis for stop smoking and uh, there are so many celebrities who have used it and why am I sh saying or uh, talking about celebrities because a lot of people think that hypnosis or hypnotherapy is such a woo-woo thing and yet it is a science it is a science it is something that it's documented and what you can do with it is so powerful so if we can utilize hypnosis to do uh, for me to do my root canals not using any anesthesia for doing any dental work for a small little uh, cut in my eyelid and no anesthesia for that or even bigger doing um, hernia knee replacement um, having a baby with absolutely first baby with no epidurals and a lot of people say I endured the pain until but if you utilize the self-hypnosis and direct your mind so focused so precise that's when you use your own inner power to also mend heal and 
fix. So in a way, when we work with cancer patients, is the same thing of calming them down when feeling nausea, when feeling sick. It's tapping insight and having the body correlate and correspond to certain suggestions that as this uh, medicine is going inside me, that my reaction, my physical reaction to this reduces and the, the response or the reaction to the medicine, to the IV, to the chemo, to all of that is easier and not as drastic. So that's what we are doing. We are not here to cure the cancer and but how to eliminate your response factor to how you are being treated. In a way, what I like to say is if you feel calm, if you feel relaxed, if you feel that I got this, that this is just another way that if I cut my finger, I'm going to go and stitch it or I'm going to put a band-aid on it. And instead of band-aid, you go and do the stitching for it to heal more properly instead of putting a band-aid and not healing properly. That's what the power of hypnosis can do. Plus, you are also not only mentally, emotionally, physically aligned, but knowing that you heal faster. And actually, that's exactly what happens. You see, when I don't put anesthesia in my, in my body for root canals or any dental work, the healing is faster. I mean, it's like I, I can eat faster. I can, although I don't feel the pain, I know what it's happening. So, had a client 15 years old. Who came in here with extreme fear of needles and even looking at needles right that after three sessions I even have the pictures of course um, I have showed it to some people and um, due to factor of privacy I cannot put his picture maybe I can blur the picture that he even took a needle a syringe and placed the needle part in his fingers and put it through now is it possible yes looking at it smiling why because I did self-hypnosis immediate self-hypnosis and in less than a minute I showed him how I do it and I put it through my own and I insert it from here through here with absolutely not even a dot of blood because of the concentration and when he did it he was amazed so the power of suggestion the power of seeing the power of knowing the power of believing the power within you is what makes the difference between discomfort and choosing to make a difference the solution within so why is it that we heal within it's not curing it's healing it's healing the emotional connection to it if Kate Middleton uses it if there is such power why not everyone else why not you why not the person that you know who is in pain it is managing the pain it is bypassing the pain factor that for the temporary it's temporarily we are not not in pain pain is something that our body gives a message to us for us to pay attention we do need our body to give us pain but it's 
overcoming the pain factor to ease the pain enough that you can take care of it and realize that it is possible. So getting closer to the mic. Oh, is my mic not on? I thought my mic is on. I am so sorry all this time. <laughs> so in life, the things we do, the things that you can do, realizing that been working in the field of hypnosis and hypnotherapy for the last 22 years. And the reason I left a, a fantastic field in the legal is making the difference. When I healed myself through hypnosis, this is what I wanted to do. Hypnosis helps with anxiety. It helps with overcoming the fear factor. It helps you be calm and knowing not only it's a dis-ease, that there is a dis-ease and there is the solution, the solution that is within you. So working with cancer, ovarian cancer, it doesn't matter. We're not here to say it's never going to happen in your body, but that it's happening to your body and how you can manage it, how you can manage your emotions, how you can manage your mental readiness, how you can boost your confidence, how you can know that you, this is You know, last weekend I was, uh, I'm sure you've seen the pictures that I have posted at this event called the Rise Festival. And the Rise Festival in itself was magical. The reason I'm talking about it is the magic that happens there. Thousands and thousands, over 60,000 people came to Mojave Desert. And when you look at it, it's like line, 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 like we were minuscule. And when you look at the, the Mojave Desert, it was just this empty place, miles and miles of dirt. And there's this band in the middle and this lanterns that we come to gather thousands of people, everyone coming to a pole. There's poles put together. And we went as a group and the energy of the group and believe it or not, half of the group didn't even know each other. And when we came for a cause, for a reason, that was the power. That was the power right there. And I'm not segueing from the powers of what you can do, but the power of prayer, power of gratefulness, the power within us, the power and the energy of togetherness for one reason, one cause. And as the lanterns were given to us, we were supposed to write whatever is in your heart. You write, you pray, you draw different markers, different colors and each one was given to and everyone used it in a different way so as we came and we all took our positions and we sat there I lost one of my lanterns so I only had one and and it was like okay this is it I'm supposed to have only one and I utilize all sides of this lantern and as I started writing and I'll post the pictures but because it was dark the picture is not so clear I started with what is my first intention in life and it was about love being in the rise and I write poetry I started I rise for 
I rise for and I started with everything that I stand up for I show up for and it's for family it is for my clients I it's for being present it is for the gifts and being grateful and I went all the way through my ancestry from my great-grandparents to my grandparents and grandparents and family the energy the evolution of where I am today present at that very moment and then I the other side was the prayers that I had for every single person that I could think of that I wanted to pray for them, the names. And I wrote the names and it started with my core family, even my pets, um, and then my family members, and then expanded family and friends, writing the name of my girlfriends, and then everything. So pouring all that love, remembering them, and even few clients, and friends that I have that are outside of my scope that I know they are hurting putting their names in there and then the other side I just drew and I sent that lantern up thinking this is the only lantern I have and you know when we're thinking about it 50,000 and more people there guess what everyone came together helping one another it was like this love this hug this this energy of gratefulness and care compassion light it was so beautiful so beautiful and magical that you think oh it's beautiful that no it was magical with the music the feelings and everything because it was humanity and we wonder why this humanity does not exist after we leave there and then we come back into the hogwash and everything within the city and we start honking the horn because someone cuts in front of us and it's the same person that was there so who you are do you change from place to place do you change because of your circumstances or when you feel loved and cared for and compassion that energy that love and that light that you become feeds you from inside and that's called heal within that's what the energy when someone says what's the difference between you or another hypnotherapist what is the be the difference between you and another coach is this is it I give full of me to who you are not only what you come in for it's not just that one pain factor or that one problem I'm here to make sure that you tap into all of your gifts and when you have it when you are equipped with it when you have the tools the techniques and everything you shine when you shine you light up your own world when you light up your own world you light up everyone that surrounds you I have no magic I am I see magic everywhere that's the difference so that's what rise was and later on on the second one I went to get a drink a cup of coffee for everyone and one of the guys who was there he looked at me and says oh thank you so much because I bought drink uh, the coffee for everybody I came carrying the coffees and uh, I gave him an extra five dollar tip and he says thank you what can I do for you I said nothing this is beautiful everything in here 
and I said, do you want a lantern? Did you get to uh, light up your own lantern because you guys are working? He says, yes, we've got so many extra ones. And I said, oh, lucky you because I only got mine. I don't know. I dropped mine. He picks up a lantern and gives one to me. And you know what I did with that second lantern? I wrote everything that I was ready to let go of. Everything that I had been holding on to, emotionally, physically, mentally, everything that I had been carrying with and either weighing me down or I had misconceptions of. So the reason I'm saying all this is because we hold on to so much angst, anger, resentment, sometimes knowingly, other times unknowingly. And if you could find a way to express it, either write it and then burn it, write it, put it in, in something and send it away, right? Get a balloon, write on a balloon and then release the balloon, let it go. Make sure it's not helium because we want to make sure that it goes away and then it degrades. You can even get a journal and start journaling. As a matter of fact, I have created a beautiful journal that in the next week or so, it's going to be on my shop and you can even purchase that one. It is a way that it's a 33 day calendar journaling and for you to sit and think and ponder and write and create and tap deeper within yourself. So by Thanksgiving, you give thanks to everything, especially to you. So today's message was in a way what is heal within? What is hypnosis? Nothing but a tool and a technique to guide you, to support you, as I guide you and support you and direct you how to tap deeper within yourself. I had someone here because and they were referred. And they, as they were leaving, they said, how do you get your clients? Are you busy every single day? I am busy. How I get my clients? Word of mouth. Testimonials. So if this message resonates with you, if what I have to say resonates with you, by all means, would you not only subscribe, but share? Give me a call if there is anything I can help you with. I am here for you. If there is anything that it's beyond me, I am open. I always refer. Believe it or not, I refer more clients to psychologists and other coaches. Uh, people are surprised. Why? Because I'm not know-it-all. And I believe in networking, referring, and saying, if I can't do it, I will find a way to help you. So, be the light, and I will be your guiding light. My name is Lisa. Heal Within is where transformation begins. It begins here. The rest is up to you to continue it and make it happen. So until next week, may this week's message be, I showed up, I stood up, and I spoke up. I'm ready to rise. Are you? Until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye.
Bye, Sonia John. So good to have you here as well. Bye, Adrian. Bye-bye.